Hey guys, Apple has officially released today to the general public iOS 12.1.4 as anticipated to fix one of the biggest flaws found on the iPhone in its history, and that is the FaceTime bug, which allowed a user to activate another user's iPhone's microphone and even camera remotely by creating a group FaceTime. This is a major, major software update for all iOS users. Even Apple, the way they phrased this software update, by the way, comes in at approximately 98 megabytes, and it's only fixing this issue because it's a very, very serious one. Now, when Apple uses releases a software update it usually just says you know this software contains uh, security enhancements and bug fixes but the wording today iOS 12.1.4 provides important security updates and it's recommended for all users so even the way the app phrases this is different and they realize the magnitude of this issue now going over to some of the security notes here nothing has been updated as of yet uh, we may not even know or see the radar report or anything like that at apple or received in regard to this bug with the security patches and what caused this issue we may not even ever see that however facetime i can confirm that when you do a group facetime it will no longer allow you to you know access another person's phone so i've tested that several times here with my devices and i can confirm that yes apple has fixed it now taking a look here at some of the servers everything is running as it should apple had temporarily turned off facetime servers right here group facetime servers but it is back on so you can see it's now available now for those of you who are looking to jailbreak this is an important uh, question that you may be asking yourself do i update to ios 12.1.4 to prevent this from uh, being a bug on my device or do i stay on ios 12.1.2 and below and keep the bug but get a jailbreak right because the new jailbreak will not be working from ios 12.1.3 and above so of course ios 12.1.4 is in that same category no jailbreak will be provided for that however one thing i could say is that if you do turn off FaceTime completely on your device, and again, this is only for those who intend to jailbreak, you can turn FaceTime off completely and then you won't be affected by the bug because nobody can FaceTime you, right? And when a jailbreak gets released, there will most likely be a patch within the jailbreak community that will fix this issue. So myself, I'm lucky enough to have several devices to keep some on iOS 12.1.2 or below and enjoy a jailbreak and also enjoy the benefits of the security for the latest software but most of you do only have one device and that's a question that you may be asking yourself so a patch could be provided after a jailbreak is available for you guys i recommend turning facetime off if you do want to go ahead and wait for the jailbreak but if you're not looking to jailbreak i highly 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 recommend updating right now to ios 12.1.4 by going to settings of course that's going to be general software updates and it will populate in this particular portion right here on their software updates the bill number for 12.1.416 d57 just a quick update video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you apple for making this right although it did take a little over a week but they did get it right thank you and i'll see you guys on the next one peace